What is up, everybody? My name is Phoenix Rising. If you're just joining us, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. We are currently sitting at a Circle K in Illinois. I am another city. It's somewhere off the old Route 66, though. Um, today's video, we're just gonna we have some stuff to talk about. So, you know, do. Cute damn intro. So, we have, you know, been on a journey. We started the carnivore diet, though. And uh, we want to talk to you guys a little bit about it, show you what you eat, you know, trucker style. Uh, also, probably gonna get some backs in today. Um, maybe, I'll hold me to it. You know, some more time lapse footage, you know, you guys love that, you know? And, uh, of course, diesel. Diesel, diesel. Yeah, he, he's not awake yet. Either. So, I guess without further ado, we're starting our day off with an adventure because you know, already have the fuel light on, and we got 68 miles to go to the pilot. It's gonna be an adventure. Hopefully, we don't run out of fuel. So, uh, stay tuned for more, I guess, and. Uh, Anything coming off the exit? We 
should be like right off of exit. I don't see no pilot left. We're just gonna go up 20 more miles, pray the fuel system holds, and we're gonna be on fuel. Luckily, this load isn't very heavy. Luckily, we're in that you see flat to the front of that truck. That is a nice truck. So, anyway, we, have, we got some things we want to talk to y'all about today. Um, as I said in the intro, we, we've been doing the uh, carnivore diet. I haven't really started working out yet, but overall, I'm impressed. We're not eating fast food no more, so that's a big deal. But we're gaining a lot of weight. And I don't know if you've been here since like the beginning of my days. Um, you know, we did 10,000 steps. You know, originally started as a keto channel. Uh, if you've been here since the beginning, thank you. But, uh, yeah, we started the carnivore diet on January 1st. Mind you, we had some cheat days, you know, because, you know, go Lions. Um, you know, on Sundays, man, they play, we, you know, we make, like, junk food. And, you know, have, like, you know, human food. You know, that's not meat really. We would still try to eat one meal a day. That's, like, carnivore. That, you know... We are down to like probably like a one meal a day. Like last night, you know, maybe tonight when we uh, stop and we make our food, um, we'll film that for y'all. Um, but uh, we uh, had steak last night. We had two ribeyes and like a pound of shrimp. So good. And then uh, we fished off a bowl of uh, culture cottage cheese. Been struggling to get into ketosis, you know. Um, but I think it is because of those cheat days. Uh, okay, like Monday, uh, we're 433 pounds. So, but I can tell I've gained muscle mass. I have enough energy to run through a small wall, and uh, I can go all night. But my driving performance and trucking has increased drastically. Like, I don't know if y'all know if I told you this before, but, you know, back in the day, you know, in May, when we stopped driving truck, we were all made like, I want to say like 480 pounds. I never actually weighed myself, so I don't know. I just know that I look gigantic. Which is part of the reason why we started walking in the summer and we didn't drive all summer. Overall, I miss trucking and trucking this thing. So. I'm not really sure how we did this. We're currently 1.7 miles from my TA. That was 20 more miles of the road. Like, I cannot stress. Like, we have not done this with fuel economy since uh, probably that day with Pearl and Iowa. Where we drove like 300 miles with a light on. Take exit 160. I'll and right. uh, we've stretched this as far as we can go. Not intentionally, actually. We're going to stop the pilot 20 miles back, but that pilot doesn't exist no more. And then the other pilot doesn't exist no more. So we've just been kind of burying this. Um, and uh, I've never been so excited to find a TA in my life. Because we just buried this fuel. And, uh, one quarter mile, be in the right lane, then turn right on West Market Street. Yeah. Freaking brutal, man. Turn right on West Market Street, then take the first left.
too. There is no fuel station over here. Just found a Walmart parking lot. I've never been more excited to see a Walmart in my life. So we got turned around. We had to go left there. Or we had to go right. We went left. I got confused. I thought the GPS was wrong for a change and it wasn't. But uh mile, turn we're at like lane. four more minutes. We gotta go through a bunch of stoplights over the overpass. And then like uh, it's like a trucker's lane over here. We're just gonna hope that we can get some green lights here. And there's like a shred of dignity of fuel in this gas tank. Like we need 1.2 one one mile, one mile. miles. Turn left on Trucker's Lane. That was close, y'all. That was way too close for comfort. I put the fuel gauge Nothing. into the tank and all you heard was the bottom of the tank hitting fuel. I shined a flashlight in there, there was nothing in there, so. Yeah, let's not do that again, that was stressful. We're gonna see how many gallons this thing takes. I'm pretty sure they're 100 gallon tanks, so we'll see how empty it really was. Stay tuned. So I'm thinking they're two 75 gallon tanks and uh, yeah, 158 gallons y'all. That thing was empty. So as we sit here and we pump our death down. Yeah, that's, that's, that's scary y'all. That tank was empty. I did the math and there are two 75 gallon tanks, that's 150 gallons. We got 158 gallons in that tank. So we got eight, uh, eight gallons of overage. Um, 
I like to call that my NASCAR reserve shoot for situations like this. So, yeah. That might be worse than uh, when we went with Pearl that day in Iowa. But, you know what? Positive news, we're good now. So, time for go run 1,500 miles. Yeah. So, we'll be back shortly, y'all.